Hi, my name is Rihanna Rees and I want to talk about the military and my support for the military. So I've been getting a lot of questions and comments about why do I support the military on TikTok, on Snapchat, in school, and I'm like, I support the military because they are the ones that are fighting for our lives. They're the ones that are out there fighting for us, and we didn't ask for that. We really didn't. But they do. They fight for us. You know, the military, they're the whole reason why we are alive. While we're still living here in the USA, here on Earth. They're the reason why we're here. Because if they were not here, we wouldn't be here. I wouldn't even be here recording this. So, the military, we... Having the military, we have been through our ups and downs. Loads of times. And I mean loads of times. Like the most recent attack, Afghanistan. Our troops were in Afghanistan for at least 20 years. Due to the president who sent them there. I don't remember his name. He sent them there so Afghanistan's military could learn how to... Be prepared for a surprise attack. And every president that we have had, they said that they were going to get our troops out. We're going to get them out. We're going to get them out. We're going to get them out. It took them at least 20 years. And Biden was the only one to actually get them out. Even though it wasn't the correct way he should have done that. He should have been slow. He should have at least given them at least a few days for them to recuperate and our troops could have come home safe and sound no attack ever but that wasn't the case the attack happened because another country they found out that afghanistan's military was finally up and running and our military was leaving so in 48 hours, our troop and the Afghanistan's military was bombed. We had no idea that this was going to happen. They had no idea this was going to happen. It's not like we had a warning. We didn't. We honestly did not. How were we supposed to know that this was going to happen? We didn't. And... People in school, they have been like, I do not trust the military at all because they're the reason why those people got killed in Afghanistan. No, they are not. That country, whatever that country was, whoever they were, that was their plan. That was their idea to bomb Afghanistan with our troops there. That was their fault, not our military's fault. That was not our soldiers' fault. Men, at least 13 men and women died in Afghanistan along with a bunch of other people. That wasn't our fault. We actually, our military was trying their very hardest to fight for the Afghanistan's people, for the military, for us, and try to make sure that everyone would be safe. That isn't our fault. We were trying to do, we were trying to protect them. But in school, that's not what people think. They're actually putting their faith they're actually, well, no, not putting their faith. They are dropping their faith in the military and thinking that they cannot protect us anymore. Well, that's not the case with me. I have faith in the military and I always will because two things, actually. The military, they're the reason why I'm alive. They're the reason why I'm doing this. They always were there. They were were the ones to protect us the most than when other countries were wanting to hurt us. And two, my grandpa, my aunt's dad, he fought in World War II and in the Vietnam War. How do I know this? She showed me pictures and she showed me some letters that I sadly do not have with me today because 
He died when I was in seventh grade, so basically 2017, from an ear infection. And she put all the photos she had of him away because she did not want to remember him. Well, she did. Well, she does still, but she didn't want to cry a lot knowing that he died and he died an honorable death even though it was from an ear infection but it was still honorable he didn't die in the wars he was still alive he lived a long good life and i do come from that i do come from kind of a military family and other people they come from military families and they are always wondering if their family members are gonna come home alive with all their limbs. That's what goes through their mind every single day. It's never on boys, crushes, dances, proms, all that stuff. It's never on that, never. It's always about the family members, which I deeply respect. I really respect that because most people whose family is not in the military, they have no idea what, what it's like having to go through that. Sadly, no, none of my family members are in the military, but I do worry about my military. I do worry about our soldiers, our men and women who are out there fighting for us. I do worry. And that's why I support the military because they will always have my faith. I will always believe in them and I will always stay true to the military because that's just me and it may not be you and that's okay but if you ever start thinking should i stop believing in the military remember this the military fought for our rights they fought for us they fought for us to gain our independence they are the ones that we are alive we are here it's the whole reason why I'm recording this. And if we weren't here, where would we be? So that is why I support the military because they fought for you, for me, for us, for our families, for our citizens, for the entire USA, for our freaking country. They fought for us. And that is why I will always support the military. I'm a military supporter. That's just who I am. And I hope you guys will continue to support for the military because they, they really need it. They do need our support because they go through a bunch of trouble with everything so I do hope that you guys stay true to your beliefs but also remember to put your faith into the right people as in the military the marine the, the marine corps the national guard the navy believe in the right people don't believe in the wrong. Thank you for listening to me and thank you for your time.